Hi, welcome to another Interstellar Prime update video. Today we're going to be looking at the sandbox mode in the area of creating new modules and how creating your own ship and customizing your own starship works in uh, this, the sandbox mode. So I'm going to go ahead and use this interface to bring up the menu. So I have two options of either go into uh, the ship construction right away, which is basically going to take you out and then just look at the shipyard and what's going on there or I can just basically look at what's for sale so the first thing I want to do is I'm gonna have to buy the ship component which is in this case I will need a core so this will be my spaceship so at the moment we only have one option uh, we're still working on other um, ship we might release three to beginning two or three or may maybe just one um, we, we have to see how things have to smooth out the things so trying to make um, things not too complicated to, to begin with anyway let's just say I want to purchase this so I hit buy basically it's just gonna go back out there and show you there you go there's your ship and I can actually take a look around um, take take a look and see if, if this is something that um, is gonna work for what I'm doing and this will work because all I need to do is put in the modules inside so let's go ahead and go to the sales listing and then I'm going to look at the pressurized module. So right now we only have one that's in the system, but we already made three others. So um, that's just we just have to smooth things out. Let's say I want to um, go ahead and buy that, so I can actually do um, inspection on this. And let's go ahead and modify. So I'm going to go ahead and um, hit another key. And everything is a little abrupted at the moment at the moment because. We haven't really smoothed things out. This is still early, an early build. So just kind of give you a quick idea of what it would look like in order to uh, manipulate um, and then modify the modules. I just want to get an early feedback and, and see what you guys think. Uh, is this going to be too cumbersome to, to make? Is this going to be you know, something that's just too complicated or not? So um, I would love to hear what you think about it. And of course, the snapping is not working yet or is not um, being made yet so right now we just kinda manually try to make it straight and all that stuff but at the but when we release it there's gonna be a snapping system to to make sure that all the furniture and the components you wanna put in your modules are aligned and snapped correctly anyway so I'm gonna put in this uh, terminal for uh, <coughs> my crew member to be able to help me pilot the ship and by the way I can just change the views like this I'm gonna go ahead and put that guy over here align it that looks good and I'm going to have another one and put it right down here and as you can see the roof is um, not installed because that's uh, when you have when you purchase a pressurized module you'll have the option to essentially modified everything like what I'm doing here and that requires a robotic arm so roof needs to be taken off to do that so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one more thing here and what you're looking at is just basically like the kinda like a sample components you can put in your ship and as we push more updates there's gonna be more components you can you can buy and um, and decorate it and stuff like that to your to your ship so in, in this particular example, this right, this little thing right here, it's, it's the um, bio storage tank. This is where uh, when you do, when you gather organic material, like if you want to grow grass or grow um, plants and stuff like that, you're, you're going to be able to make um, bio material, which will be required to, <coughs> uh, to do a certain um, task and a certain resource like creating fo food. Uh, 3D 3D printing organs and stuff like that, so that you know when you get injured or um, that that's one way that your ship can help um, heal you with the med bay. It will require a certain amount of bio um, material, so that's kind of the storage for that. So that's just kind of give you an idea of, of what the game would would be like at the end. So let's just say that I'm I'm happy with 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 this and I'm ready to put. Um, this module to the ship. I'm gonna go ahead and use um, a quick developer portal here and then just jump right to uh, the robot 
<clears throat> assembly robot. So essentially what happened is, you know, in, in our in our release, we'll have like kind of like the animation to just indicate that, hey, your, your module is being transported from the facility, which it's inside of that rock, Remnant City, really, um, and basically through that tube and come out here. So we've still got a lot of things to um, just kind of smooth it or smooth out. I'm going to go ahead and grab this. And the controls is pretty much the same as the, the what what you saw earlier in the m manipulating the stuff and um, instead of doing an, using an arm you're actually using the um, assembly robot and as you can see over here everything inside it's it's pretty much the same as as what um, I had before so anyway let's put that and in order to attach a module in earlier video you probably saw it, it's basically doing that and that's how it will solidify inside your ship however um, what happens if you want to say edit your existing module how that would work in interstellar prime is that you're gonna have to actually detach the module and then send it inside the facility for it to be modified you know just like this is kinda like how I would imagine um, how people would have to do it because it's pressurized you don't want it out in space with all the radiation damaging things so therefore this is what you would do you're basically saying that oh, okay that module I, I changed my mind on something so I'm gonna have to come back to this facility and put it back here in order for me to basically send it back to the hangar for for modification so that's exactly what I'm doing so I put it back here and here we are and let's just say that um, I want to move this chair somewhere else maybe right here instead um, let's see that works right there or maybe here you kinda get the idea alright and then let's say I want to not have this guy so I'm just gonna move it around that's how you do it that's how you remove uh, certain things. So let's uh, say that I'm, I'm happy with it. Actually, let's just give, give, get another captain chair here, so that I can have my co-pilot. And then I'm gonna put this guy right here, right next to it, in an angle. So basically, a co-pilot. You can scrub through this if you want, as I manipulate and manhandle this thing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it. Put him right here and down here. And again, feedback will be tremendous for us to know what you guys think and making sure that uh, you know this is not going to be something too cumbersome and too annoying because we want it to be enjoyable as you build your own ship. All right, let's see if this works. So I'm going to go ahead and transition back and just kind of snap out of there and everything is there mm -hmm. so I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy out oh, oh physics collision there certain things to fix alright um, and then I'm gonna put, put it right in front this is going to be the um, the bridge so I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy right here there we go so now I have my ship customize so I'm gonna go ahead and use another developer portal and boom right back um, I'm in the facility and I'm ready to go and check out my ship so and this is by the way a big facility that's gonna come in the sandbox mode and you know you can walk around look out the window that sort of things and then um, you can meet people here and get more get more mission so the storyline um, just a quick side note in the sandbox mode it's just basically going to um, kind of basically what happened right after um, the main player became a um, astro miner so I'm gonna go ahead and go there and then get into the first view so because still everything is still a little rough and this is the um, the EVA mission mode uh, that um, when the player puts on a spacesuit and then come out 
um, you have full 360 degree um, controls here. So I'm going to go ahead and get inside and land. Here we go. And I'm going to kind of check out the modules that I installed. It works. So this looks good. I didn't put anything in here. I didn't um, put it back into the, the module. But yes, you're going to be able to buy additional modules. And then we're going to release different ones so that you can play around with different um, type of models. And we would love to see what kind of ship you can create. And here we are. This is the ship that I just modified. It's ready in space. And um, you, you can't take off your space suit unless you have a suit changing room, obviously. So um, we're going to do that. And then you can actually just pilot the ship and from here. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video here so it won't be too long. Thank you for watching and um, we'll catch you again next time.